everyone, this is Christina, aka Imagining Mystic, and welcome to episode one of an all new Let's Play series that I'm starting on my channel. This is Let's Play the Living Off the Grid Challenge. And I decided since my legacy is on high or my Sims 4 legacy is on hiatus until mid-November, that I would fill the uh, void with um, two much, much shorter challenges. Um and add those Let's Plays to my um, rotation of, uh, of other Sims 4 Let's Plays that I do. The Living Off the Grid Challenge um, is, is a quicker challenge. You only do it in one generation. Um, so I will link the rules below. This challenge was created um, by Recipe Simmer, and um, you can find her on Twitter at, at recipe underscore simmer. And like I said, you can get the rules um, from the link below. Basically what you need to do is you need to start with one single sim, young adult, uh, with the lifespan set to normal, and they need to have the um, nature aspiration with the subcategory of freelance botanist and that is what i chose for her and my sim is right here her name is ella natural and you know i thought it sounded kind of cool because she's going to be uh, living without any sort of you know modern conveniences so basically what you need to do is you're going to build a house and you cannot make a bathroom in that house as you can see here that is what i did um, the bathroom is going to be an outhouse, which is what I did over here, with the cheapest toilet and shower. Uh, furnish the house as you wish, but nothing that can use electricity. So there's no stove. Um, you can only cook outdoors with a grill, and the kitchen should be almost non-existent. You cannot use a refrigerator. So the rules are lifespan set to normal, aging must be on, they must start as a young adult, no electricity whatsoever. And that, my friends, includes lights. No lights. Um, so because of that, Sims need to be in bed at 7.30 p.m. every day. Um, and the reason for that is because there is no more daylight. They're not going to be able to do anything in the dark, so they have to go to bed at 7.30 um, they cannot get any jobs or careers. Um, the one thing that you can get is a microscope. Um, and and the, uh, the challenge creator has deemed that this does not actually use electricity. You can't get a uh, telescope but you can have a microscope. So I got that and that'll be pretty good considering she wants to be a botanist and that will help her later on. Um, yeah, no telescope because it's electric. You can't use any cheats or mods, so that makes it similar to the Legacy Challenge. Uh, no phone. If I ever see her using her phone, I need to cancel her action ASAP. Otherwise, I use, I lose some major points. Um, I do have to pay the bills. I cannot move anyone in. And um, I can't use any of the reward, reward points that I receive. Um so yeah, there's it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough challenge. It actually reminds me a little bit of the start of the apocalypse challenge um, from The Sims 2, but uh, yeah, it's not gonna be quite as brutal as the apocalypse challenge. Um, so in order to uh, end the challenge, it finishes once all gardening collectibles except the UFO plant have been collected. Uh, I need to have her max out the gardening skill. She needs to complete the freelance botanist aspiration, and um, as long as it's before my sim dies, all of this counts. Now, there's also in different difficulty levels for this. Novice, um, the novice level is there is no bedtime. You can have um, a refrigerator in your house as well, so it's slightly easier. I'm not going to do that one. I think I can do this without the need of a refrigerator, um, I hope. I hope. We'll see. Um, she's gonna be eating an awful lot of hot dogs. Um, let's see. Uh, then there's normal, which is to follow the rules that I just read above. Specialist is a little bit more difficult than, than normal. Uh, you must complete the challenge before becoming an elder, which for you also includes the, uh, oh, and you also need to complete the angling ace aspiration on top of the, 
um, freelance botanist. And finally, there is the legendary level. And you must complete the challenge before becoming an adult, which also includes finishing not only the um, freelance botanist aspiration, but also the angling ace as well. Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm going to just go for normal. Um, and I'm going to see how it goes. If I look, If it looks like I'm doing pretty well, I might try to go for a specialist. It doesn't say that I have to choose one and then stick with it. So if I get it to the point where she has gotten um, a freelance botanist and I still have time before she turns elder, I'm going to try to go for specialist. But otherwise, I am most likely going to just stick with normal. And then you get uh, points for um, each gardening collectible that you have, each level of gardening that you have. Um, if you get the garden variety, um, a, uh, is it a trait? I think you get that as a trait. Nature walker and uh, nature nurturer. Oh no, those might be achievements. I think they're achievements actually. Um, and then finally you get 5,000 points for reaching the freelance botanist. And then you get some points subtracted for missing bedtime. Um, each day after aging into an adult that it takes you to complete your goals. Um, you also get one minus 1,000 anytime your sim uses a phone. So she cannot, cannot use that stupid phone. I wish there was a way to get rid of it. Um, and you get a negative uh, 1,000 points for any aspiration rewards that you use. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty tough challenge. And I just realized... I forgot to buy a trash can, so why don't I do that real quick because she is going to need that. I'm just going to get the basic outdoor one um, and just so that she has that. And I think that's everything I need. Oh no, I need gardening beds. Yes, I do indeed need gardening beds, so let's get those. We'll get a couple of those and maybe we'll just keep them right out here. I have three should be good. And I'll just probably put the trees um, in the back as like a little orchard. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna have that. The girl can stay out here or maybe over here. Or I'm gonna keep hitting the wrong thing. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, so we'll have all of the gardening stuff here. This will be the gardening area. I'm gonna have an orchard there. Um, so that's where she's gonna be growing all of her food. Uh, unfortunately, all of her stuff needs to stay in the inventory, but it I, it doesn't say that I can't sell it. So I guess she's going to kind of be like a farmer. Um, anytime she gets things that I can't use um, quickly, I'm just going to sell it. And she is allowed, since she can't have a job, she can make money um, painting. So I have included an easel in her house as well as a violin so that she can write music. Now her traits are a creative music lover and loves the outdoor. So most likely I'm going to have her gain most of her money from writing songs um, because she gets fun from, um, oh no, she doesn't get fun from playing music. She just gets happy. But um, I have books for her to read if her fun gets too low. I can't have a TV. I can't have a stereo. So she can't listen to music. Um, so yeah, she is going to need to get fun from reading, basically. Um, and I also gave her Loves the Outdoors because she is going to be spending an awful lot of time with those plants. Um, the other way that she can earn money is that she can collect. She can fish. She can collect food food from around the neighborhood and she can dig up rocks. I believe she can also go to the Sylvan Glade. So we will probably be working on that as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically the start of this. And as you can see, this is her house. I tried to make it look very natural. And because she can't have any electric lights, I tried to, um, to give as much natural light in the house as possible. Um, so I've got a big row of windows in the front here, and I also have them in the back. And then the bathroom, because I wanted to give her privacy there, I just kind of put these smaller ones up top, that way nobody can see in. Um, but it should provide enough natural light for her in the morning, at least, or in the daytime at least. So I guess she just 
can't, you know, I mean, she's going to have to pee in the dark sometimes, but she'll, she'll survive. She'll do all right. Um, okay, Miss Ella Natural, it is time to get started with this. Who? where do I want to start first? Um, let's see, she's got 5,000 to spare. There is no rule saying that she has to get rid of this money, thankfully. Um, so I am just going to use it to buy plants and then kind of just keep the rest for bills. Um, although honestly, her bills are not going to be that expensive. Um, and really, who cares if it shuts off the electricity? Uh, it would suck if it shut off the water because we do still need to use the toilet and the shower. Um, but she doesn't need to worry about um, the electricity being shut off because she can't use electricity anyway. Uh, now, the one thing I am unsure about, and I might need to ask the challenges creator before I do this, I'm not sure if she can use the electricity on community lots. It doesn't say. Uh, so for this episode, she's just going to stay on her own lot. I'm not going to let her go to the community lots. I, I'll probably let her go to the park, at least in the daytime, because then their lights aren't on. Um, but things like the gym and the nightclub and stuff like that, I am going to keep her away from that. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, first things first, I'm going to have her start her garden. Um, so we will purchase some fruits, some herbs, and some veggies. And you know what? I think I need to have flowers for that collection. So I'm going to get the flowers too. Okay. Oh, so then you know what? Let me get another gardening bed too. That way I have a spot for the flowers as well. There we go. Um, and actually, I should really take a look at that collection. Um, because I don't actually know. All right, so she needs to have frogs. Oh, no, collect all gardening collectibles. It doesn't have to be... Uh, okay, so, so then I do probably need flowers. Yeah, I do need flowers. Um, right, okay, so I need flowers... And that's it though. I don't need to get the metals. I don't need to get the crystals or the postcards or um, any of that. I don't think I even need the fishing. No, I just need to worry about gardening. So, okay, let's open these up. And uh, we will let her plant those. And then maybe I will have her work on some music. Okay, so let's see, we have bluebells. So those are flowers. Place those there. Chrysanthemum, daisy. I think that's it for flowers. Um, okay, so that's a veggie, that's spinach. And we've got a mushroom and a carrot. And then we've got parsley. And our, um, what is that? Basil? Basil, okay, basil. And then we've got some grapes, and then the apple and the bananas I'm gonna put in the back here. I'll just put those right there. Start up a little orchard. Okay, come on. Okay, there we go. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, let's see, so plant, and that should have her do all of that. And, okay, so while she's doing that, I think, um, what can she do? She can also work on her bonsai tree, which will help her gardening skill as well. Um, and that should, yep, there's her gardening skill. And she will just work on that for a little while. And then, I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess I'll work on the, um, on the music afterwards. <clears throat> and I have to apologize if I'm extra sniffly today. My fall allergies have been driving me insane. Like literally insane. It's, it's, <laughs> it's bad. Um, okay, let's see. I'll just kind of fast forward this. She's going kind of slow with it, so let her... Oh, and we're actually gaining aspiration. I just realized plant something 10 times. So we will get that part of the aspiration, and we should actually be getting this whole thing today because she needs to water everything too. 
So after she's done planting them, I will have her water them. Water, go. Okay. So yeah, this is a really, uh, this is a neat challenge. Um, definitely a little bit of a different start than the legacy challenge. And um, because, you know, legacy does eventually get a chance to use electric items. Um, so this is going to be a challenge that remains difficult uh, just because you don't get a chance to use any sort of electric equipment um, while you play, which, you know, there's a lot of um, perks to having electrical stuff in your lot. So uh, this will be interesting. And I have to really, really monitor her to make sure that she doesn't um, use her phone. That's going to be the biggest thing because I don't want to accidentally um, have her lose points because she used her phone and I didn't notice. So I'm going to have to be really diligent about that. And when she's not busy doing something like this, I'm going to need to make sure that I'm watching her like a hawk because I don't want to have to worry about that. And I am planning on doing the point tracking for this because it's fairly straightforward. Um, all right, so we got level two of the gardening career, or career, the gardening um, aspiration as well as the skill. And so let's see, her next level of um, freelance botanist requires that she have a level five gardening skill. She needs to evolve 10 different plants, and she needs to harvest from 20 different plants. So for the most part, she should be able to do that fairly soon. And uh, she's, what are you doing? Oh, apparently she really has to pee. Why are you running to the bathroom? You don't have to pee. Okay. Um, I also didn't see any rules that said that she couldn't talk to other Sims. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like that would be a rule. Um, but she can't move anybody in. So we'll just have her get chummy with some people. Um, just so that she's not, you know, her social's not completely crashing and burning. Although I do think that eventually gardening sims can talk to their plants. So that'll be a good thing to do, too. Okay. Oh, we have a, um, something to dig up over here. So let's work on that. And I have to also see if there's any plants out here to harvest from yet. Bluebell, not yet. Frogs, bluebell, snapdragon, and eh, I can't harvest it yet. Okay, well, let's see if we can get a frog. At the very least, we can breed them and sell them uh, because there's nothing that says that we can't do that. All right, I don't see anything else that I need to get at the moment. Uh, bluebell, oh yeah, that's right. There's a community garden over here. Can I harvest anything? It doesn't say I can't. Bluebell. Look at all these people just swarming the garden. All right, Miss Ella, why don't you go do what I told you? And um, yeah, I just need to make sure I really watch her. I, I don't want to have her start using her phone. That's going to be a tough one because they really use that phone all the stinking time. Dang. <laughs> And we got a striped leaf frog. What else did we get? A fossil. Okay, what did you get? Let's slow down. And now, by the way, I don't lose points if she like if she starts using her phone and I catch it and I and I cancel the action. But if she uses her phone the entire time and I don't catch it, that's when I lose the points. So we don't we don't want to do that. Okay, we have a fossilized egg, so we'll sell that. And we will also sell Chef Gino. How much does this, the frog sell? 10. All right, I'll keep it so I can breed it later. All right, uh, she needs some fun. So why don't I have her come shape her bonsai plant? That oh, I hope that gives some fun. Otherwise, I'm going to have to have her read a book or something. And she's starting to get hungry. So I'm going to need to keep an eye on that as well. Ella. There you are. Okay, just making sure you're not using your phone. I don't entirely trust you yet. I kind of wish there was a technophobe trait in uh, in this game like there was in The Sims 3, because then I could have just given her that and she never would touch her phone. Okay, good, the bonsai plant does give fun. So that's another good way. This will also help her um, level up her gardening. So it's kind of a, it's it's a good way to get both things done at the same time. So that's good to know. What time is it? It's 4.44. So I have a little less than three hours before she has to go to bed. 
So I should probably make sure that she eats her dinner before that. I'll let her do this for a little longer and then I'm gonna let her eat and then she's gonna have to go to sleep. Now I'm assuming there's no penalty for have, if, if she wakes up in the middle of the night and she has to pee. It seems to me that Sims, they have bladders the size of peas because I feel like they are never able to sleep through the night without having to pee themselves. So um, I'm going to assume that getting up to pee is not going to be an issue, but, uh, but we'll see. All right, she's almost done with this and then I will have her grill Ooh. a hot dog huh? oops sorry about that i left my uh i left my skype up let me, let me let me put myself on do not disturb real quick okay there we go all right sorry about that let's see oh look at our little bonsai plant okay so she's cooking now please don't burn yourself or die or anything like that Thank you for not dying. Oh man, this is gonna this is gonna stink because I can't save these hot dogs. Oh no. Okay. It's that's unfortunate. There's no way to do a single meal. Oh man, that's gonna waste some money too. That's that's a tough one. Okay, well it's a good thing she's got some extra money and I haven't I didn't go too crazy with her house. Alright, so yeah, unfortunately the rest of these hot dogs are gonna go to waste. Mm. So just I guess sticking with the cheapest of them of the meals there will be what I need to do. And uh yeah, so let's see. It's 615. So after she's done eating, oh her bonsai tree is doing No, you may not answer that. Um, why don't you play some music for a little while after you're done eating? That'll give you something to do and we can sell it once you create a song. Okay. Yep, there we go. She can do that. And yeah, unfortunately, the food is going to have to go into the trash, which I might as well do right now because there's, it's not gonna last until she wakes up. Oh, maybe it will. Can I undo that? Nope. Okay, well, that was dumb. I just wasted some of it. She might have actually had it okay from the morning. Oh, she is gaining fun from the music. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. So she can practice the, oh, oh, that sound. That, that is quite the awful sound. Um, but at least she's gaining fun from it and she's learning music at the same time. So yeah, it sounds like how I play the violin, actually. I've always wanted to learn because I love the violin. I love how it sounds. I don't love how it sounds right now, but uh, but when uh, when somebody that is talented and, and, and good at the violin can play the violin, I love the violin. I just, um, I'm, I don't know. I probably need to practice, but I don't have time. So yeah, we'll just listen to her torture some cats for a little bit longer and oh, we have to start getting her ready for bed. So she doesn't really need much else. I guess I'll just let her play for a few more minutes and uh, get her to bed and then we will um, we'll end episode number one. Okay, Miss Ella, head to sleep, please. Oh. There we go. All right, everybody. So that is the end of episode one of Let's Play the <laughs> Living Off the Grid Challenge. I hope you enjoyed and definitely give this challenge a look over and see if it's something that you would be interested in playing. It's uh, it's definitely a different way to play because you have to be very careful about certain things. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. So yeah, um, if you like this video and you want to see more, please give me a like and a follow on YouTube, please. You can also follow me on Twitter at, at Imagining Mystic. You can follow me on my Facebook page, which I will link below. And to get the uh, the rules for this, I will make sure to post it um, in the comments below as well. Also, for those of you that are wondering um, when my Legacy Challenge series will be back or are curious as to why it's on hiatus, check out episode number 26 of the uh, Sims 4 Legacy Let's Play. It will explain everything. And also be sure to see the vlog at the end because I have a request for all of you lovely viewers out there. 
Um, so yeah, uh, also be sure to check out Pinstar's YouTube channel, Valerie and C's YouTube channel, and the Pixel Pirates Twitch channel. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and happy simming. Bye. <laughs>